रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑन मैटलैब सिमुलेशन ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स नाउ टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट एडाप्टिव टर्मिनल स्लाइडिंग मोड कंट्रोल फॉर रिजिट रोबोटिक मैनिपुलेटर्स द पेपर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज पब्लिश इन इंटरनेशनल जर्नल ऑफ ऑटोमेशन एंड कंप्यूटिंग इट हैज़ बीन पब्लिश इन टू सो इट्स अबाउट ऑलमोस्ट टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड बट Uh, still uh, this is uh, some topic that is of considerable interest uh, to the community that is why i am uh, making another video on uh, uh, this terminal sliding mode control of rigid robotic manipulators i have already uh, have a detailed video on the similar topic Uh, except that in the previous video we did not discuss the adaptive terminal sliding mode control in this video we are going to discuss the adaptive uh, part as well so th that's the difference and another difference is that we will be uh, simulating a non linear model of the rigid robotic manipulator in the previous video i uh, simulated the results from the paper that used the linearized model so these are the two major differences and i will uh, post the link of the previous video that is uh, about the terminal sliding mode control for rigid robotic manipulators in the description of this video so let's get started uh, of course uh, the reason for adaptive terminal sliding mode control is to deal with uh, un predictability of the structure and uncertainties in the dynamics of the robot and uh, we will not as usual we will not discuss the details of the paper we will just concentrate on the mathematical model and the control law so here this is the uh, main mathematical model for the system uh, this matrix m times q double dot uh, plus c which is a function of q and q dot and then g not which is a, um, the function of q so these uh, q is uh, basically and uh, in our case the, this will be a two dimensional vector of joint angles and q dot are the rate of change of joint angles so the robotic manipulator has two joints uh, and uh, we the state space the state variables are the angles of the joints and the rate of change of angles of the joints which are angular velocities okay so uh, since this is so this is the model of the system the it's a basically it will be a fourth order model because q is a it will be a two dimensional uh, vector in our case and then uh, the sliding surface that has been this is the sliding surface for terminal sliding mode control it always has uh, the error and the derivative of the error e2 is the derivative of the error or you can say e2 is equal to q dot minus the desire the derivative of the desirable value of q c is a diagonal matrix a and b are constants e1 is the error between uh, q and q desired so q is a vector of two angles in our case so this is the sliding surface equation 6 this is important so let me so i like this and then uh, we have uh, this this is the control equation so control is uh, uh, sum of two different control efforts q u equivalent and delta u uh, delta u has there are two versions of delta u given in the paper this is delta u1 uh, i have not used this one because this is like a, a less uh, Uh, advanced and more advanced robust adaptive terminal sliding mode control has uh, delta u which is delta u2 this we have used in this uh, video so this is the delta u2 which is a function of sliding surface and adaptive variable these uh, three are the adaptation uh, laws b0 b1 and b2 and uh, then this is the two dimensional uh, model that is used in the uh, in the simulations that we are going to use there are some values of the masses and you know lengths and inertia and all that uh, these disturbance equations so these are the initial values and then 
these are some this is desirable uh, function for angle one this is the desirable function for angle two and then these are some parameters related to the sliding surface and the adaptation laws and similarly delta is used in the uh, control uh, design uh, for example let me show you uh, in the here this this is the delta so 0 0.0005 its value so if this uh, norm is greater than equal to delta then delta u will be equal to this equation and if this norm norm of s transpose m inverse is less than delta then there will be a separate equation used for delta to uh, delta u and u equivalent is given by uh, this equation so this is the equation for u equivalent and it involves the double derivative of uh, the desirable value of q so without further ado you have seen the control law you have seen the sliding surface you have seen the model and now let's look at uh, the matlab uh, code for this so this is the matlab code it is not uh, you know it's a little bit lengthy it is about 46 lines although i have uh, combined uh, more than one commands on a single line to keep it to minimum number of lines but still it's a quite lengthy code so if you want to take a screenshot you are, you can take a screenshot of uh, pause here and take a screenshot and then i scroll down and pause here again and then take a screenshot here so th these two screenshots will give you the whole code and you can rewrite it yourself and run the uh, results so here in this code i have used the uh, constant values which are given in the paper and these are the expression for the disturbance d1 and d2 which are also given in the paper <clears throat> let me show you <clears throat> so i've already shown you that uh, but uh, just uh, usually i do side by side comparison um, maybe i can do that here so uh, these are the uh, these are not these <clears throat> so the values of uh, these are the values of the disturbance and these are written uh, here both in the same line d1 and d2 and these are some uh, the the constant uh, values or parameter values are given here so this uh, part of the code is to implement uh, the changes in the mass so when we run the simulation the mass is supposed to change with the passage of time so the changes in mass is given here in the paper so m1 is going to be 0.44 from 0 to uh, 3 seconds and after from 3 to 5 seconds m1 is going to be 0 0.4 then from 5 to 6 seconds m1 is going to be 0 0.36 and then uh, from 6 to 8 m1 is again going to be 0.44 and so on so this is uh, this part of the code is to implement the changes in the masses uh, with uh, as the you know in different um, chunks of times and this is the the m11 uh, uh, this all is given in the paper so you can see here uh, this equation this m11 this is written here m12 m22 these are all uh, written from the uh, from the paper so m11 m12 all of these are given here and then the m110 is uh, the basically uh, the same function but with the nominal value of mass so these are the nominal values of mass 1 and mass 2 and these are the values of masses with with some you know changes or uncertainties in the control law we will be using the nominal values but in the actual model there will be some uh, we will include the variations in the mass as well and we will see that the control law is able to cater for the variations in the mass then uh, these are like c1 c2 g1 g2 these are given here and these are part of the model of the robotic manipulator and there is also c10 and c20 g10 g20 these are again with the nominal value of the mass and without zero are with the 
you know actual value of the mass which is uh, changing with the passage of time then we have this m matrix uh, which is a uh, this one and uh, then c matrix and g matrix and c naught g naught and this is the matrix of disturbances capital d then these are the desirable values which are also given in the paper uh, in the next page so these are given here so these are the these are these equations and then we have uh, if you go further down so that these are the derivatives of the desirable values that i have calculated because these are used in the equation of the sliding surface and in the equation of the control uh, this is the sliding surface which is given in the paper and this is the equivalent control so here i want to just point out that uh, in the paper the equation for u equivalent uh, this equation 8 let me maximize this in this equation we have q d double dot minus a over b c times dia diagonal matrix of this e1 raised to the power a over b minus 1 so here the problem is that c is a 2 cross 2 matrix and this diagonal matrix will also become 2 cross 2 and a 2 cross 2 matrix cannot be subtracted from 2 cross 1 vector so here what i have done like i have uh, used my own uh, intuition and instead of using the diagonal matrix i have used uh, just a simple e raised to the power a over b which is a 2 cross 1 vector so this vector multiplied by c matrix uh, results in a vector which can be subtracted so the the difference in uh, this equation here the, this diagonal instead of diagonal i have q uh, double dot minus a over b into c which is a 2 cross 2 matrix uh, into e raised to the power a over b minus 1 instead of using the diagonal matrix e1 i have used simple e1 which is a 2 cross 1 vector of uh, errors between uh, you know x1 and q1 desire and, and x2 and q2 desire and then uh, another uh, thing that is uh, that i have uh, you know used on my with my own you know i had to improvise because uh, these this is the delta u equation and these are the adaptation laws in these adaptation laws x0 x1 and x2 are the constants uh, the, the paper says that x1 x x0 x1 x2 are arbitrary positive constants the values i could not find the values of x0 x1 and x2 in the paper uh, so i have used arbitrary positive values so here in in my code i have used x0 to be 300 x1 to be 400 and x2 to be 200 so you can use any arbitrary positive values for x0 x1 and x2 uh, or maybe uh, you know i don't know uh, what values authors have used in their results but uh, i think uh, any positive values will not violate this statement that is given in the paper okay so although the uh, dynamics of the you know results will depend upon what values are selected but anyways so this is the equation for delta u if norm of s transpose and inver in into inverse of m naught is greater than or equal to delta then we have delta u to be this equation which is given in the paper uh, here so it will be this equation or otherwise if uh, the norm is uh, uh, less than delta then delta u will be this equation then u will be uh, equal to u equivalent plus delta u and then x1 dot is equal to uh, this whole equation uh, so x1 dot is equal to x3 and x2 dot is equal to x4 so here x1 dot basically represents the derivative of the first two state variables and x2 dot represent the derivative of the state variables 3 and 4 so and this is b b0 dot uh, b1 dot b2 dot uh, these are like these three adaptation laws and then we have uh, you know so we have total 
3 is equal to 7 state variables and the initial conditions are given in the paper so we get to the next file which is uh, the file where we call the ODE45 function and we run it for 10 seconds and with the initial conditions given in the paper so uh, b0 initial condition is 5 b10 is 14 b20 is 2 and then q10 is 0.8 q20 is 0.9 and then these are the desirable values i have just uh, you know just to compare with the uh, so this will be the error between angle 1 and its desirable value and this will be the angle uh, the difference between angle 2 uh, and its desirable value I have already plotted uh, this uh, before starting this video uh, the reason is because this takes about you know uh, 6 minutes to run and we cannot wait for 6 minutes in this video so you can see here that error goes to 0 in within 2 seconds and this is the uh, second error which is also going to 0 so these are the two errors so you can um, but here one caution is that uh, if you uh, like you know th there is uh, some imaginary parts uh, being created in the state variables uh, I'm not sure the reason behind that but these imaginary parts are you know actually almost zero so probably ignorable uh, but of course I I'm just uh, letting you know and also if you want to uh, you can also plot uh, t comma uh, you know x of uh, x1 which is q1 and you can see how the angle varies so let me close these figures yeah so this is let me read on the command so this is uh, this is the trajectory of uh, angle one we can uh, use hold on and plot uh, the qd1 and we can use the uh, a red color for that and make it you know a dotted line then here so you can see see here that uh, this was the desirable value for uh, q1 and in the blue line it is the actual value of q1 so again if i close and plot uh, the actual value of q2 so this is the actual value of q2 and i use uh, hold on and i plot the qd two then so this is the desirable versus actual value of the uh, second second joint angle so this that is uh, that's all uh, for this video so again at the end i will show you the code so that you can you know copy it so this is the first uh, pause here and you know you get the code from line one through line 32 and line 32 to line 46 you can pause here and take a screenshot and from line 32 onwards you get the remaining code and i hope that uh, this will be helpful for you if you are uh, doing any research on adaptive terminal sliding mode control for uh, robotic manipulators thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, you can subscribe if you want to get notified for future videos uh,